Hey guys, it is Admin. Welcome to episode 1 of Let's Build Breath of the Wild. Today we are going to be building the Great Bridge of Hylia, and there might be a slight spoiler of it on my map right now, but I wanted to go into the details of how I got what I'm building before I actually show you what I've built so far. Also, on the screen right now is a beautiful tree built by AstroMX81. It's not done yet, obviously, but it's turning out nice. Anyway, like I said, we're going to be building the Great Bridge of Hylia, but to start off, we actually need to know how big the bridge is and how to build it. So let's jump to a picture of the map. Alright, so from the picture of the bridge, we can see if we take pixel measurements that it has a length and width, obviously. Now, we need to divide this by half because that's how we determined what each pixel is in blocks. It is half of the map size. So, the map itself, the full map, is 24,000 by 24,000 pixels. So if you half that, you get 12,000 pixels by 12,000 pixels. That means the Minecraft map is 12,000 blocks by 12,000 blocks. But the bridge section itself is 180 blocks by 60 blocks. This gives us an angle. And I mean, obviously you can see on screen, the bridge is not straight up and down or horizontal. It's not vertical or horizontal. It is clearly at an angle. But doing some simple math, we can simplify this um, equation, if we make one and then simplify it, to get y equals negative 3x. Using a graphing calculator, we could very easily see that this is correct. Now, if we jump back into Minecraft, we can visualize what this actually looks like. If I quickly grab a block, what that basically means is we need to come down three blocks, and then over by one, and so on. So this is that angle there. Of course, this is really rough, so we can do the same thing in chisel and bits. So let's come to the edge of this. Okay, so block edge, we can go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, undo like so. And that is also the same angle, just scaled down. Now if you do that over and over again, you'll notice obviously 16, because a Minecraft block is 16 of these pixels, does not divide by 3. But 48 does. So we get a repeating pattern once you do this for 3 blocks like this. We have a repeating pattern going all the way across the block. So that allows us to, we could grab these pieces, nope that's the wrong one, these pieces like this and then that would allow us to place them down there. So then if I get rid of these, we now have a recurring pattern that we can use for the bridge. All right. So now we have a straight line. And this looks pretty crazy. Now, there's a lot going on here, so I'm going to try to break it down slowly but surely, piece by piece. Again, we started with an angled piece, like so. That is what the main bridge is made out of, but back on our map, you can see that there are angled pieces that come out at some angle. I think it's like uh, it's a 45 degree angle coming out from the actual bridge. So back in game, we can see that I was able to replicate this. But it's not as simple as just making a 45 degree angle because it's an angle on top of an angle. So this is actually a pattern of 2, 2, 2, so on and so forth. And then this is a negative 2, or I might have got that backwards, but it's one of those. So then that works out to get the right shape. 
Now then, what is this on the ground right here? And that, and that. What are these? This is because if we look at the um, top of the bridge, sorry I do not have a picture, but um, just uh, try to imagine with me. There's this like little diamond shape on top of the bridge. And it slightly overlaps the edge of the bridge and goes out into this area. And this, it divides up the material types. So if we come back over to here, we have a custom brick made out of chisel and bits. This was made by Estonium. He did a fantastic job. And this is a 5x5 five five segment that is a recurring pattern. So you can uh, copy and paste it over everywhere. Anyway, if we look at this, you have this breaking up everything and then the brick inside there and then on the outside is cobblestone and it goes around like this and fills in the rest of the space. Then we have just a little, um, this is like a, it's half a block thick and it's just a trim that goes all the way around for a little railing and at some point once I get um, all of let's call these spikes, the, all the spikes in place, then I'm going to add um, like an area where it comes up to be a full block in height because there are like little decorative bricks that come up higher. So you might be wondering why I didn't just copy and paste this design over there and over there. That's because, unfortunately, due to how Minecraft works, this is on a slightly different grid than this is, and this is on a slightly different grid than this is. You can see this is marking the center point right here, this little post. Notice that it's not on the center of the block there, where if we were to draw a line here, this is center point is on the center of this block. And so notice how it shifted over to this side? Well, check out the next one. It shifted over the other direction. And that's just due to how the math ended up working out for the spacing between the pillars. Yep, that's right. This bridge has pillars, obviously, because it's a bridge. They need pillars to be supported, especially if they're made out of stone. So let's look at the pillar. First thing you'll notice, it again is angled. That is because there is a straight line that is uh, perpendicular to the bridge and then we have the same angled shape coming out because this is a polygon and currently it just goes straight down all the way but later probably later in this video we're going to make a box shape at the bottom which well, actually really easy we can just do a slightly bigger perpendicular well this would be a horizontal parallel line there we go parallel to here and then uh, perpendicular to here and then so on and so forth so we'd have essentially have made a box like this except the whole box is at an angle right that makes sense okay of course there is more to these pillars than just a straight up and down pillar. Like I was saying, there's a box at the bottom. There are also some like detailed dividing lines and some windows. They're sort of windows, I guess. Um, and there's even an archway. This archway is going to be very fun as, um, well, it's also at an angle. Everything is at an angle. And it's kind of driving me crazy, but it's also kind of fun because so I'm in college, and I'm learning fun math. I say fun partially in a sarcastic sense, but I'm learning math, and I'm able to directly apply it here with these angles. And that's really interesting to me. So this project has been quite a fun time so far. Anyway, uh, I think I've really explained all that I've done so far. Um... Oh yeah, there's a little bit. I need to copy and paste some of the pillars because some of them are missing clearly, but 
I figured there's no point of really doing that until I detail them out. Now what is this tall line right here? This is where a central pillar comes down and unlike these, it's not a polygon. It's actually just a big box. So it, I measured it to be twice the size of these pillars and they have a half archway connecting to it. So that's actually how I got that measurement. They both have half archways. That makes it twice the size of them. So it should be really easy to measure it out. Then we can make a big box. It will be really easy. So yeah. So what is the next step for me? I need to add the little stone perimeter to this like that thing has. But to do that, I want to build these. And as I already explained, I have to build them by hand as the measurements are all different. Might be possible to like do some copy and paste work, but I'm not positive. And yeah, luckily I have this cool um, measuring tape tool and it allows you to take distances. So I can measure stuff. So that was, it said one in 10. I can come over here and do the same measurement. If I actually start from the same place, then I can get, I can see that, oh, I basically got the right measurement. It's going to be slightly different as the angles are going to be a tiny bit different and whatnot, but yeah, um, it should be almost exactly the same. Okay, one last thing. In the top left corner of my screen, you can probably see I have something that says recording. That is because I have the replay mod installed. And because of that, let's jump into a time lapse. But anyway, between that happening and um, whatnot, a lot of real life events happened for me and a lot of stuff actually happened, but I wasn't able to record most of it. Anyway, I'm going to go over what they are. Uh, well, for starters, uh, a lot of the work I did in those time lapses turned out to be wrong. You can see that that is where the center line should be. So this is much more correct. Also, um, Estonium tried to make like a brick texture thing, but I think I'm going to just go back to that because I personally think that looks better. And that's overcomplicated. Anyway, um, also you'll notice stuff like this, like, and that there's no cobblestone anymore. 
that is because we did this. And this is essentially we just decided to repeat the brick texture over and over and over again. And it did kind of mess up the bridge, but we figured that would be a lot easier than having to do it across the whole thing manually. So that leaves me with the job of doing something like this. So here's a full block right here. I need to click, oops, this needs to be on line. I need to click here, 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 and there, and then go to connected pane and click across here to fully get rid of this. And I need to do that for every block. And there's more than 180 per side. So this is going to take a while. But obviously, um, this episode's already stretching on. So I'm not going to be able to do that today. We're going to have to split this into a part two. I hope you tune in for that. But let's keep going over what I did. Um, I made some crenellations. They're currently redstone blocks because I was just marking stuff out, but this is the spacing we're going to be going with and I'll make more of them, but they are copy and pasteable and it is great. Um, besides that, let's see, uh, I built this thing down at the bottom. This is what the base of the pillar is going to look like and this is going to stretch out by a couple blocks. Again, I think it looks really nice, um, though I haven't put any time into it currently. Um, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. In the next one, hopefully we're going to sort out this top structure here, change this back to cobblestone, add the crenellations along the top, and then maybe do the archways. And then there'll still be a fair amount of work for us to do, so we might need to do a third episode. But at that point, it should be done, and I'll be releasing it to you guys. So, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been Admin, and I'm out. Thank you so much for watching.